Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Cam Ward and today I wanted to tell you a trick that I learned recently but quite a few people know about this trick and if you are into video editing you probably already know about this. Pancake editing. Call it a pancake timeline so I'm just going to call it pancake editing. I want to talk about the good and bad points to it. This is basically where you stack two timelines on top of each other and you import all your footage onto the top timeline and you can scrub through it and check it all there and then you pick the best moments you want and drag it into your main timeline below. So this is a really fast way of editing. Generally, I only use it when I'm editing other people's footage. If it's my own footage, I know this might sound weird, but I actually like to just scrub through the clips in the bin. I think one of the things you've really got to be careful with um, when doing pancake timeline editing, whatever it's called, like you're importing all the clips onto that timeline basically in chronological order. So clip four, let's say, might not necessarily work very well with clip five. So what I'm saying is clip four might work best with clip eight, but you've got to make sure that, you know, you scrub through and check to see which two work best, but just be sure to make sure you're looking for like, you know, the perfect timings and things to edit into. So, so you know, if the camera is like, you know, whipping up, then maybe in the next shot, the camera is whipping down. Um, you know, really mixing it up and making sure everything flows together nicely. So I'm not 100% sure if there is an alternative to this method in Final Cut. I don't use that. I use Premiere Pro. But yeah, that's just, just a very quick video about that. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Cam Ward and I will see you in the next one.